Hi, my name is Lisa Schmid, and I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in my 20th year, which is craziness, but I wouldn't do it any other way. Um, welcome to Wonder Wednesday. So Wonder Wednesday is a time when, hmm, I will answer a question that somebody has sent in um, or a tech, about a technique or a tool or anything. Any question you have about Stampin' Up! and Stampin' Up! products, Honestly, any question you have about Dave and I, <laughs> just kidding. Um, so I tonight, somebody had asked about how to use 3D embossing folders. And there is so much that we can do with them. I was actually surprised once I started playing with it. And I mean, I know how to use them, but boy, there's a lot you can do with them. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with that in no particular order. Okay, I'm not gonna, I, I have a whole stack of things I wanna show you, so. Um, the first thing is our embossing folders. We have these large ones. There's a couple different sizes. So actually, maybe I'll pull that out first. I have a large and I have what I would call maybe a regular. A mini. Nope, that's not the mini. Oh, you're right. And then I have a mini. And I want to leave these papers in because um, I want, I'm want. i going to be using them. So we have the smaller ones and that's for the mini stamp and cut and emboss. These two do not fit in it but everything fits in the larger stamp and cut and emboss. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm taking this um, pine bark, bark is what it's called, bark, and I'm going to use our paper that looks like wood. Isn't that, isn't that cool? Now I haven't tried this one before, but I thought, ooh, that'd be cute. A couple of things I want you to notice is right here there's a line, and what that line means is that's just to help me keep it straight. Like if I didn't want the bark to be completely crooked, I could use that line to help me straighten and keep straight my embossing folder. Um, and some people say to go in through the folded end. I just go in any which way. Maybe I do go through the folded end. I'm not sure. But that's a good idea. Um, with our stamp and cut and emboss, you will receive this cutting plate. And the thing I love about the cutting plate is that it tells me exactly what I need to do. So it tells me with, um, if I want to do die cuts, it tells me right here what I need to do for the different embossing folders. So a standard embossing folder is one that you can actually feel them. So this one and this one, standard embossing folder, but this one is actually what we would call a 3D embossing folder. It's quite thick and it doesn't, it's not very bendable. Um, anyway, so this one, I'm just going to use plate one and then I'm, which is this, and then I'm going to use plate number four, which is this emboss or this plate right here. So this is a little bit thicker. Uh, I don't know. I think it's a little bit thicker than the clear plates. It's certainly thicker, thicker than this one, which is this one I, is number two. It goes under die cutting. So let's go ahead and run this through. All right, so I'm running it through so it'll come out on this side so you can see that. All right, and I often, just so you know if you're making lots of cards, I often die cut two at, or um, emboss two at a time, and it does work just fine. Ooh, how cool is that? Can you see the yep. texture? How fun is that? So some texture on, like, wood paper. So that's one thing, I mean, just you can just emboss just like that. And you can use that as a background. So with our backgrounds. And the 3D embossing folders, as you might imagine, they produce a deeper image. Right. So the image is raised higher on one side, yep. impressed more on the other side. Yes, so for it sure. it truly is a deeper image. And you could use either side. I think I like to use the side that is popping up, but you could use either side. Kind of so, depends on what type of pattern I suppose. I suppose. Some patterns are more one way than the other. Yep. I would agree with you. All right, the next one. So that's just um, if I wanted to use designer series paper, because that's what this is. You could use any kind of designer series paper. All right, I'm going to set this on this side. The other thing you could use is foil. So I just cut out a uh, metallic paper. I'm just going to show you with this small piece of gold, and I'll, then I'll show you something I've made with it. And of course, we still need our, this again, 3D embossing folder. I mean, you can see it's got it's really got some deep ridges in it. So make my sandwich. What's up? Which one is that? This one is, oh, maybe this one is bark. 
I think this one is bark. I actually have, um, can we wait till I get to it? Because sure. I know I have them stacked up here. All right, so th I think this one is bark and that one is pine, <laughs> perhaps. All right, look at that. So I've got some really cool embossing there. And this is one that I have used. You may remember when I made the birdhouse, this is the background on the birdhouse using our silver foil paper, which was in the holiday mini catalog. So, but this, just to show you, yes, I used it on the whole card here. <clears throat> you could also use just a strip across the bottom or up on the, you know, up the side of a card just to give it a little bit of pop, okay? So this one, I do have all the five, the folders here, hon, so we'll get to it. Can I just have it? Oh, he just wants the folder. All right, there you go. So that, you can use it with foil. With our foil paper, it comes out quite nicely. All right, we'll set that over here. I'm going to hand you this one, too, in case you want that. Um, of course, we can. So this one is our new embossing folder. And, you know, you would think I stack them all up neatly, but mm, not so much. So, this is our new embossing folder. I'm sorry, honey. What's your name? Well, I was going to, this one is, um, I can't remember the name of it. It's in the new catalog. Our new embossing folder. There's my list. We don't need to see that. Gingham embossing folder. Gingham embossing. Thank you. So, I chose Pool Party just to run it through. And this is much thinner. Can you see that? This is much thinner than the big ones that I had. So, let's take a look at my pile let's take a look at this and see so on this one we're going to actually use the clear embossing or clear plates the standard embossing plates with this one and it does say here hinge first okay well I'm not sure why but if they say it I'm gonna do it and this again has that line right there so I can get um, this all the way on now this is a quarter sheet of cardstock so you can see it would it's actually um, a quarter inch under, I believe. So you can see a quarter sheet would fit quite nicely. Okay. Hi, um, Sandy. Hi, Kathy. Hi, and friends. All our Minnesota friends, please stay warm. It yes. is rigid out there. It is so cold. Poor Dave went out and blew the driveway and this came in freezing. All right. So, um, and I know we, you guys always make fun of my plates, but this, and this got sticky on it. I don't know. That's okay. Let's go ahead. I don't need that one. I'm going to use my two clear plates and I'm going to run that through. And like I said, this is, I could do two of these at a time and it still comes out well. So let's take a look at, what'd you say, gingham? Yep. That's the gingham, gingham. embossing folder. Look how fun that is. So fun. And I have Great a couple background. cards here to show you. Both sides are like exactly the same really fun as a background so here's some cards i want to show you using this gingham background here's a beautiful card made by julie frakey i'll move that out of the way too using our daffodils is that just so fun oh my goodness i love these daffodils so here that you can see the background maybe you can't i don't know if you can see the background has that gingham it's towards that light towards that light we can see it a little bit more yeah. okay here's one more and this one was made by this one. Brenda Sue Hillard. This one you can really see it. There you go. You can yep. see that background. So just a nice um, texture behind it because without this, this card would be uh, kind of plain. Honestly, I think it'd be kind of plain. I love it. I love the outline or the layout, but I do think it'd be a little bit plain without it. So that's just a quick and easy way to add a little texture, a little pop to your card. All right. Another thing we can do is you could take um, a half sheet of paper of cardstock and this one is the hive this is in our new JJ 22 catalog the hive but something we could do is we could emboss if we wanted to I'm gonna turn it over because the Stampin Up side is always the top side for whatever that's what Stampin Up decided and I'm going with it so this we could emboss half of our cardstock or I could emboss just a quarter if I wanted just the bottom done. Um, well, let's That's try that. kind of nice if you're making a whole card. Just You think the whole thing? Yep. I was going to say we could try it either way. Rather than layering on another layer, you know, emboss yeah. it and then put it as a layer, you could just do your card base. So I want to make sure I'm past, a little bit past that line. What I don't want is I don't want a little blank spot showing. So I'm going to just 
if I fold it over, I feel like it pulls it too far that way. So I'm just going to leave it a little bit like that. And we're going to run that through. Now with my large embossing folder, embossing, stamp and cut and emboss, here we go again. And this is our regular and it will fit this way. Okay, so it fits like that, perfect. So I'm going to use my two plates, don't make fun of them. I could order some new, shouldn't I? Maybe I should order some new ones, just even to use like on camera. Hey Michelle. <laughs> yes, it does look like, you know, you're the shoemaker with the tattered shoes. Yeah, probably so. All right, let me just get that straight so we can get it through there, there we go. If it does pick up on the edge a little bit, it's a little bit harder to get through. Uh, I think this one, yeah, I think, so it's really, this one's not going through as hard, so I'm wondering if, because it feels, whoops, it definitely feels harder, I'm going to try using it with just this, with this on top. Let's try that and see. I think that'll probably work better. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, so if ever you're going through and you're like, oh, this is too hard, stop. And don't push it all the way through because that is not a good thing. All right, are you ready? Ooh, how fun is that? Like, what a great card with some bees on it. I got my embossing or my, what's it called? Bone folder, yep. And how fun is that? I like it. So either side, okay, so I see this right here. That would kind of bug me, so I might put another piece of paper inside or I might line it up a little more carefully, but how fun is that? I like it. I like the beehive. I haven't used this one yet, so I'm super excited about it. All right. Let's Barb says we all have plates that are well loved like yours. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay, another thing we can do is we can use, this one is our Merry Melody, which was in the Holiday Mini, but is a carryover, so it's still available. Um, you can use vellum cardstock and it comes out great. It come, you're just going to see it makes it, um, the image makes it white and I really like it. So let's, again, just going to line that up there. And let's see, what do we have here? In my main plate, whoops, um, and just the one on top. All right, so just this one behind this. Oh, that's what you're taking? Things I'm done with, I'm putting on that side. So I don't get confused. All right, let's run this through. And are you ready? It's so fun. You're going to love it. There we go. Ta -da -da. Check that out. Isn't that beautiful? How fun is that? And like I said, this is vellum cardstock. We actually don't carry vellum paper anymore. We just carry the vellum card sack, but how fun is that? Um, I have a piece of red here, real, that's poppy actually, just to put behind it to show you. Look, I mean, you could even just cut this here, do that with a little message and done. Done and done. Ooh, isn't that fun? What do you think, guys? Yeah, vellum cardstock. It's nice Michelle and thick. Says, Ooh, I need to get some vellum. Yeah, it's wonderful. All right. Uh, what else do I have for you? Okay, this um, embossing folder is actually one of my favorites. Dave's going to look it up because he's so good that way. It's Parisian Flourish. Parisian Flourish. And I'm going to show you something we can do. Um, after we emboss it, we're going to put some color on it. Okay, so I'm going to line up that line again. Again, we're just going to take our plate. We're go just going to use number four and run this through. All right. There we go. All right. The, I just, I don't know, I really like this one. I think it's a really pretty embossing folder. So what we're going to do with this one is I'm actually going to take some of Blushing Bride and I'm going to put it right directly on the uh, directly on the, the embossed image. paper. I was trying to see if I had something to put under it, but I'm just going to go like this. So you can put it right on the embossed image and make a really nice background or part of a background. You don't have to use it all by any means. You could cut this and have it just be a strip. And of course, you can see I could keep going, but isn't that pretty? 
Ooh. looks even more like a wallpaper or a tin ceiling. Yeah. Now, I want to point out, it does, doesn't it? I want to point out that I did this, this fit right in here, this way, and it's popping up. So this is the side that's popping up. Because if I did the same thing on this side, well, we could do it and see, it. see it. It would be different, but let's try it. Why not? This side is going to have a different part show up. Doesn't mean it's, it still could be very beautiful. It's just a different, ooh, I almost like this side better. Mm -hmm. Dave's like, mm, he likes the other side better. Anyway, so look, you could do either side. It does definitely shows a little different based on what your, you know, this the details are in very vanilla. This one, the details are in the blushing bride. So you can use the whole stamp pad, whole stamp pad. You can also use just a sponge. So we're going to try that on um, this one. And this little this little guy comes in a set of two. It comes with a hello and a thank you. Thank you. It comes with a hello and a thank you together. So and this would fit the stamp and cut the mini stamp and cut and emboss. I'm going to use the um, thank you. And I'm going to... And that one is creatively called Thanks and Hello. <laughs> Thanks and Hello. There we go. And I'm going to put it right in the middle of this quarter sheet of cardstock. And now remember, with this one, we are going to need to use the clear plates because it is a standard. And you can... Here's how you can... I tell. I mean, this is super thin. Not super thin. It's bendable compared to something like this. I cannot bend this very easily but this one I can all right so let's go ahead and run that one through so fun isn't it and pull this over so you can make sure you see what it, when it comes out all right let's roll that through there I don't know what I got on there that was all sticky but <laughs> I haven't figured out how to get it off so all right so this one look at those fun words it says thanks I mean, this could just be the front of your card. I'm going to use Poppy Parade, and I'm going to use a sponge. So let's um, just lightly sponge. So I'm going to dip it in there and just lightly sponge over the top of it. And look at that. It just really highlights the part that is embossed or sticking up. Flip it over. If I really wanted just that thanks in English, I suppose I could try to make that one even a little bit darker. Sure, I can do anything I want, right? How fun is that? How cute is that? And that is like, just, just pop that on a card and you're good to go. I wanna show you, I did also use the um, Hippo and Friends dies and just die cut one of these out because um, just to see, well, if I really just wanted that one part, that would be really pretty on a card. I mean, this is all backwards, but, but that would be pretty just to highlight the thanks part. So there you go. So that's using, so we used ink and we've also used the whole pad. All right, you ready for more? Carry on, we're gonna keep going. Can you even imagine all these things we can do? Okay, so with that cute thank you card, what if I embossed the little flap of my envelope. All right, so obviously I cannot fit it through this way. You can see that here. So I am just gonna fold this one. Pull it all the way over. Oh, it goes the other way? This way. This is a little bit larger envelope. Oh, got it. Um, it is a Stampin' Up! envelope. It comes in the kit, like the notes. Okay. So let's run that through. Oh, let's make sure my thank you is the right way. Yes, it is, okay. <laughs> <laughs> don't want it upside down, not like we can flip over the envelope. So let's, ooh, sorry, I like moved everything. Run this through. We should really stick down this board. <laughs> there we go. And pull that out of there. How fun is that? It just makes it look like so fan so much fancier. And I don't know if you noticed, I'm sure you did. Some of you will watch me like a hawk. Um, <laughs> This did not go all the way to the end, and I was curious if I was going to get a line there, but I did not. Look at that. Isn't that great? How fun is that? Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. So that's another thing you can do. 
I don't know if Dave's keeping track of all these different ways you can do something, but... Michelle asked if you could do just part of the words and not all. If you were trying to color, you could, mm -hmm. because you could use like the dauber or something to do just the one word, but I don't believe you could emboss just the one word. It would be too hard to... Isolate it? Isolate it. Well, the way you, you really could do that, actually, is if you had a smaller piece of paper and you just wanted just... But that's the same as if you emboss the whole thing and then yeah. cut it. Yeah. yeah. So, um, <laughs> oh, you know what? Uh, this is dangerous territory, but <clears throat> let's try one more thing. What if, I don't know, I don't know if I can do this. What if we only inked part of it? What if I only ink the hello? Marker, maybe. Marker, maybe. I'm going to try it with this, though. Let's try, because I can always wipe it off, too. So, in light of what you're saying, actually, I wonder if it's this. Anyway, we're going to do both sides because I always forget. We'll just do both sides and we'll see which one comes out better. I'm going to grab a little tissue here and just wipe off this because I really don't want that. Well, we'll see. It might be pink around it. I don't know. It's a little experiment for us. Let's grab a piece of paper here. That's a great question, Michelle. Always thinking. Now, obviously, once I set it down, I'm not going to want to move it because then I'm afraid it would smudge. So let's try it like this. We've got both sides so we can see which side we like better. It's like a little experiment. I like experiments. Honestly, that's how you figure out how things work, right? You try it, you either like it or you don't. <laughs> and you either do it again or you don't. <laughs> Oops, I keep trying to move this over so they can see that part that comes out. There we go. All right, let's take a look and see. That was a great thought. Over there. Is there a diffuser? Okay, so there's that. Oh, of course, that would be backwards. That makes yep. sense. So, I mean, I guess that's one way you could kind of highlight a, car, uh, a word. Sure. But if you look, most of the color goes around the word. It's not the letters itself right. that are getting it. Exactly right. All right, which is, sorry, which is the opposite of when we use the sponge on top of it. Yep. Okay. Can I have that piece? Can you have which piece? This? Oh, those ones sure. Just have. All right, let's keep going. Did you know you could emboss a piece of paper two times? Cardstock. Cardstock. You could emboss it two times to get different um, texture on it. So I'm going to use this right here. This is our painted texture really looks painted, doesn't it? And I'm going to use a piece of very vanilla. So we're going to start with this one. Oh, this one doesn't have a line. You know why? Because it doesn't matter because it's not a perfectly straight design. So I'm going to use painted texture. And I can feel, even though this size is smaller, this is definitely one of the thicker ones. So this one will go with just the number four plate. Did you, you guys have any idea there was so much you could do with this? Diane, I don't know what a diffuser is. If you can maybe help me understand that. Okay, so there's our painted texture. Now I'm gonna go through one more time and I'm gonna go through with the, da the dandelions. Can you see those? And let's see, it'll give a little more texture or we could use the flowers. What do you think, Dave? Dandelion, flowers, dandelion. Flowers. Dandelion. He, he says dandelion. Okay, I thought Actually, that too. The I, words, say it again. The words. But. Oh, the words. Words would be cute too. I think three is too many. <laughs> three is definitely too much. Okay, let's try this and see. But you can do it more than one time, and you'll get multiple textures on it. So you can tell what I did here. I colored these, and that's why it still has it on it. Look at that. So you can see these behind it, but you can also see the flowers that are there. Cool, well, huh? Me, yeah. Very, oopsie, what happened? Am I still on the screen? Yep. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, boop, what? I'm gone. Anyway, very cool. In that note, in that vein, in that note, I want to tell you, you can run through something two times. Maybe not with this distinct of an image, but if I were to run something through and I'm like, oh, it's really crooked, I can just run it through again and it will come out looking the way I want it to. It will come out looking straight. All right. Hi, Carolyn. We have some other things. I was going to, remember I showed you the wood. I thought, well, what if we embossed designer series paper, which this is our daffodil, the new ones from the 
um, celebration catalog and I embossed and again even though the size is smaller I can feel this is super thick um, and I'm gonna go backwards Ooh. I am that talented. I can go in either edge. direction. Right, living on the edge. All right, and this um, folder is Ornate Floral. Just if I wanted to give my designer series paper a little more texture, or this side. Let's say if I was using the side that didn't have as much of a flower design. Just an idea. Yeah, something you could do. All right, we're still going, friends. Here are these two for you, sir. All right, we, oh, there's that, you probably already have that one. All right, let's, the last one I'm going to do is, of course, this is our, um, what do we call these, Dave? It's the embossing, here it is. Oh, the this hybrid This one is embossing. the hybrid with Bouquet of Love. It's in the new catalog. First, I want to show you a couple that people have made it just with the plane, and then we'll make one with that piece of poppy. Did you take my poppy? Did you pop? So look how cute this is. You didn't? I thought you took it. Anyway, look how cute this is with, um, oh, I have it right here, with the um, outline and then the heart. The heart gets cut right out of it, but isn't that a sweet card? That's by Carrie McHale. She lives in Oregon. How fun is that? And this little embossing comes with our set right here. So we've got some words and we've got these hearts and flowers. So really fun. So that's obviously embossing on color. Here's one embossed on white. I thought that was really pretty. I took a little liberties and made her bow smaller. <laughs> this is by Lisa Schultz. Her bow is up here and a little bigger, and I'm like, mm, I want it on the heart. I'm going to make it smaller. <laughs> All right. Then you may have seen this one when I made it, but I'll go ahead and do this one more time to show you. So this is using real red cardstock real red cardstock and I'm putting black ink on it and I was like wait do I put black on red or red on black and I, so I looked at the back I'm like oh yeah it's black on the red so but it's not I'm putting it actually on the embossing folder so and I always have to think I am putting it on which side I don't remember so you took my pad before because it was in my way and you the black pad you picked oh. it up from here thanks all right so i want let me just think here yeah it's this side because this side i can feel this side it pushes yep. up this side pushes up and this side it's debossed is that is that a word i don't know so i'm going to put the black ink all over this side Ooh la la. and um how fun is that <laughs> You know, and to get this off, super simple, I just run it underwater and it's going to come right up. We will go ahead and put that embossing um, heart inside. So let's go ahead and drop the embossing folder or embossing. It's going to die cut that right there. Awesome. All right, let's get our red. This is like magic to me. This one is just gorgeous. I'm going to I'm going to line it up on the bottom. I got to find a place to line it up so I don't <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna line it up right there. Okay, close and go. And again, I'm using this plate as the top because this is a 3D embossing folder. So let's push that through there. Ooh la la, I like it. This is such a fun one. This is seriously, this is like magic. You ready? Okay, here we go. It doesn't look pretty there, but wait. Isn't that gorgeous? Uh, put that there so I don't get it all over. Isn't that so pretty? What the heck? So with this one, I had made this card. When you open it, you've got, I put the little vanilla underneath. Oops. So that you cannot see any of that from the inside. And then, of course, I'm going to take this piece and use it. So I used it. I washed the embossing folder and used it on here. Now remember when I did that, what came out? Another heart, this color. So this is just like it goes on and on and on. <laughs> you can just make lots and lots of them. So this one I just think is stunning. So lots of different ways, and this didn't even get oh, a little bit of black. Lots of different ways to use the embossing folders. Uh, I'm curious if you can even remember 
Um, can you come back up here? I'm curious if you can even remember, like, what was your, maybe what was your favorite um, or new, what was a new technique to you, whether it's putting ink on this, on the paper, putting ink on the folder, using a sponge, just, is there, was, what was something that either was a new technique or was a, wow, that's cool. That's what I'm wondering for my Wonder Wednesday. All right, uh, I'm gonna say thank you to Jenny. She's the one who asked me to do this. And um, yeah, I just think it's, I, had, I just had forgotten how many different ways you can use the embossing folder. And there is a ton. I'm sure there's even more than I did. <laughs> Um, want to make sure to let you know if you do not have this catalog please 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 let me know you can text email uh, anything send a carrier pigeon doesn't matter bring chocolate with and I will get one of these in the mail to you right away because it is celebration it is our brand new catalog JJ 22 and if you haven't seen it oh it is wonderful I would say to die for, but that is like overrated that that <laughs> phrase I don't, I'm not gonna die for it but anyway it's super super um, lots of cool products inside. Well, and, we also want to make sure you don't forget with the new catalog, we have so mm -hmm. many fun things available yes. for you. Because with the new catalog and celebration, we have offers on offers on offers. So during mm -hmm. January and February, if you place a $60 order, you will get the to choose the $50 celebration item, as well as we will send you a two project card kit. If you order $100, you will get the $100 celebration items or two $50 items, as well as the card kit, and we will send you an embellishment product bonus just for you. But wait! <laughs> but wait, there's more. But wait! More. Sometimes we call those extra things that on, a, on what do they call it, live TV, the only on TV. But wait! Exactly. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> to help us launch the new catalog, between, if you place a $75 order between now and January 10th, we will send you a DSP sampler swatch pack. And I don't know if you know, but some people are selling those. I'm giving it to you. And I know some of you have already earned it. it the product's coming on Friday, so we'll get it cut up and sent to you this weekend. And what that is, is you will get two each, four by three swatches of all the designs of the, the styles that you see listed on the screen there and that's heart and home sweet talk artfully composed hey sports fan symbols of fortune <laughs> flowering fields oh so and that much. is all the 12 by 12 there are some other designer series paper that are six by six or there's a new size i don't know if you saw that but yeah. this is the 12 by 12 because it makes it easy to cut for and send to you so this is a 12 by 12 paper that i want to give you so you can sample it Exactly. All right, um, I think that's what we have for you. Oh, don't forget to sign up for the card clubs because you do not want to miss um, stamping this year. Why not stamp in 2022? Uh, whether you want it delivered to your house or you want to come here, either way we can do it for you. So, and as always, to sign up for anything, to order products, everything you want, go to the stamperstudio.com. <laughs> Click on the appropriate button, whether it be clubs or order products or anything else you could possibly be I wish you could for. see him. He's like, anything else. But And I was going to say, but as always, go to thestamperstudio.com. So we were thinking the same way. All right, friends. Well, thanks for joining me. I hope you learned a lot of things. Um, boy, there's just so much to do and there's so much to play with. And I hope you learn something new and hope you uh, stamp. If you use it, do something with this. Would you post the picture so we can see what you made? Because I know everybody who joined us would love to see that as well. Um, I'll see you on Saturday for Saturday in the studio. But until then, stay warm if you live in Minnesota um, or in the Midwest. Stay warm and otherwise we'll see you on Saturday. Happy stamping, friends! <laughs>